Hi, I'm Steve Buzzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop Elements looking at some of the new features that have been added to version 13. One of the most exciting features that have been added to 13 is almost hidden in there. It is a very high level tool for creating selections. And you will find it up here underneath the selection tools. As you can see if I select this, I have a number of options. I have the course, uh, these have been here for a long time, quick selection tool and the selection brush tool and the magic wand, but a brand new one here that is called the refine selection brush tool. So it's kind of a complement to these other tools and it can make some very, very precise selections for you very intuitively. So let's start out. I'm just going to use the quick selection tool. I'm just going to paint a selection over these people. And you can see Quick Selection does a wonderful job of selecting things that are of similar color, following those lines very nicely. Just great. And the only problem is sometimes it goes a little outside the line. And you can see up here along this girl's shoulder, we're a little bit outside the lines. I'm going to zoom in on that just a little bit using Control Plus or Command Plus. And you can see we have a couple of places where we've selected too much. Well, we could, of course, hold down the Alt key and then try to remove those selections and that works pretty well but for really fine selections this new refine edge or refine selection brush is very cool and it has a feature here called the push selection to use push selection you select it and you see you get this big bullseye now that's larger than what i want you can control the size of it with the sliders here on the tool options panel but i also do it with the open brackets and close brackets just pressing open brackets to make it smaller close brackets to make it larger there's a nice size. Now the very cool thing about uh, this push selection tool is you notice that it shows a minus in that center circle right now. When I have it inside the selection, it becomes a plus. So we can use it either inside or outside the selection. It will automatically select depending on where that inner inner circle, that gray circle is, it will either add or remove from your selection. So if it's minus out here, I can hold down the button on my mouse and as I go along the edge here you can see that it's removing from the selection. Removed a little too much there. Let's make this a little smaller. And we can get right in the middle here and look how nicely it's removing the selection. And It's kind of a dynamic way that it removes it. In other words, the longer you hold the button the more it removes and you can get into some pretty fine areas with it. Look at that, how intuitive that is and how smoothly it creates it. I've seen this thing used to select individual spokes on a bicycle, so you can get some really refined stuff. Now, in this case, we moved a little too much, so we can go inside, and there we get our plus instead of our minus. And when I paint along the inside here, just hold the mouse button for a second or so, you see that it selects and gets me a very, very precise selection. This is a great tool that I'm beginning to use more and more. I'm really, really excited about it. Now, if you want to know more about this tool and about the many great tools that are available in this program, check out our tips and tutorials here at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about the new Premiere Elements 13 and the new Photoshop Elements 13, be sure to check out our books. The moviepix.com guides to Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements, they're available at Amazon.com and, of course, right here at the Movie Big Store. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me. We hope to see you again real soon.